Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very interesting and challenging Diophantine equation. We have x plus y plus z equal to 1 and we have x plus 1 whole cube plus y plus 1 whole cube plus z plus 1 whole cube equal to 46. We have to find out integer solutions only. So let's get started by considering given equations 1 and 2. Now I will write our first equation. It is x plus y plus z equal to 1. Now I will add 3 to both sides. So I will be writing in this way. x plus 1 plus y plus 1 plus z plus 1. And 3 if I will add to RHS, it will become 4. Now you can see equation 2 and this equation. Here we are having x plus 1 in equation 2, x plus 1, y plus 1, z plus 1, y plus 1, z plus 1. So let's consider x plus 1 equal to a, y plus 1 equal to b, z plus 1 equal to c. By considering this substitution, I will write our equation 1 as a plus b plus c equal to 4. Equation 2 will be a cube plus b cube plus c cube equal to 46. Now we have to solve this new system a plus b equal to 4, a cube plus b cube plus c cube equal to 46. So I will use one algebraic formula which is a plus b plus c whole cube equal to a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus 3 times a plus b times b plus c times c plus a. Now I will write the values. So a plus b plus c is 4. So I will be writing LHS as 4 cube. Right hand side, here I will be writing 46 plus 3 times A plus B, B plus C, C plus A. 4 cube is 64. And remember, this is our important substitution. Let me write this equation first. So this is 64 equal to 46 plus 3 times A plus B, B plus C, C plus A. 64 minus 46 is 18. So I can write 3 times A plus B, B plus C, C plus A equal to 18. Divide both sides by 3. So I will be having A plus B, B plus C, C plus A equal to 18 over 3, it is 6. Now let us put the value of A, B and C. A was X plus 1, B was Y plus 1, C was Z plus 1. Let's substitute back. So I will be writing here x plus y plus 2. b plus c, y plus z plus 2. c plus a, z plus x plus 2. Equal to 6. Now I will use equation number 1. This one. This equation I will use y plus z from this equation. I can write y plus z equal to 1 minus x. Similarly, z plus x I can write 1 minus y. Let us put here. So equation will become x plus y plus 2 as it is y plus z is 1 minus x. 
this value. So I can write it straight away 3 minus x. z plus x if I will put here 1 minus y. Then this bracket will be 3 minus y. Right hand side is 6. Now I will use one chart to find out integer solutions. So let me consider here. I will write x plus y plus 2. Second column was 3 minus x and then 3 minus y. And now I will factor 6. How it will be? I will write 1, 2, 3. Then 1, 3, 2. For this column, 1 is over. Now I will be writing 1 here. So I can write 2, 3, 3, 2. Now I will be writing 1 here. So I can write 2, 3, 3, 2. Now let us calculate x plus y from first column. How it would be? This is x plus y plus 2. And I am calculating x plus y. So what I will do? I will take away 2 from this column. So 1 minus 2 minus 1. 1 minus 2 minus 1. 2 minus 2 0. 3 minus 2 1. 2 minus 2 0. And 3 minus 2 1. This is our x plus y column from this one by considering minus 2. Now let us consider 3 minus x for x value. So what I will do? This number minus this number is x. 3 minus x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 3 minus 2. So right away I will take away this column from 3. So 3 minus 2, 1. 3 minus 3, 0. 3 minus 3, 0. 3 minus 2, 1. 3 minus 1, 2. 3 minus 1, 2. Similar job I will apply for column 3 minus y to get the value of y. This number minus this number. So 3 minus 3, 0. 3 minus 2, 1. 3 minus 1, 2. 3 minus 1, 2. 3 minus 3, 0. 3 minus 2, 1. Now check which value is true x and y is known. So let us calculate x plus y and then we will cross check from this column. Okay. So this is 1, 1, addition of these two. 2, 3, 2 and 3. Is it matching? No. So there is no solution from here. Now I will consider the remaining three combinations. Once we can consider 6, 1, 1. 161 116 116 Now same job I will consider for the value of x plus y. So take away 2 from 6. So 4. Take away 1 minus 2 basically. So minus 1. 1 minus 2 minus 1. Come here. So I will 3 minus 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. This is x. y value will be 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. Now we have to find out the addition of these two. So it is 4. Yes, it is matching with 4. That means it is solution. Minus 3 plus 2. It is minus 1. Yes, it is matching. And 2 minus 3 is again minus 1. So yes, it is also matching with x plus y. That means x equal to 2, y equal to 2 and z. z we will calculate from here. Let me write here one more column. That is z. z will be equal to 1 minus x plus y. So what we will do? We will calculate from these three values. So x plus y is 4. So if I will write the value of z, 1 minus 4, minus 3, 1 minus of minus 1, 2, 1 minus of minus 1, 2. So here we are having three ordered triplets. Let me write here. You can see the values straight away. x is equal to 
see this row x2 y2 and this is our z similarly this value x minus 3 2 2 and here 2 minus 3 and 2 so let me write here x y z i will write 2 2 minus 3 then i will be writing 2 minus 3 2 then i will be writing minus 3 2 and 2 what about negative values if factors are negative so let's check only once because of equations are symmetrical if it will be true then it will be true for remaining cases let me demonstrate i will consider the column x plus y plus 2 then i will be writing our second column 3 minus x third column 3 minus y okay now i will be writing here x plus y so this time i will write first the two factors negative so how it would be let me consider the first column as it is the remaining two i will consider negative this way so i can write let me write this one only minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 same order minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 6 minus 1 and minus 1 6 negative 6 and this column is as it is 1 2 3 2 and then i will be writing 3 6 1 1 so 3 6 1 1 let us calculate x plus y column first so i will take away so that column will be as it is so it will be let me write here directly minus 1 minus 1 0 1 0 then we are having 1 4 negative 1 negative 1 this is as it is this is over now let us calculate from here 3 minus x so i will calculate x how it would be i will take away minus 2 from this 3 so 3 minus of minus 2 5 6 6 5 4 4 4 9 4 let us write y also if y is negative then it will not match okay so 3 minus y i will take away this number from this 3 so 3 minus of minus 3 so 6 5 4 4 6 5 4 4 and 9 if i will add x plus y see these two columns if i will add simply it will become 11 11 10 9 so it is not going to match with our x plus y column because of these two numbers are positive it will be more than 4 as the maximum number here is 4 we can see 10 9 8 13 13 so from this negative factor factors we won't get any solution triplet similarly i can consider the first two columns negative third is positive and the third case also we won't get as equations are symmetrical so our final solution becomes let me write here x y z and this value will be equal to 2 comma 2 comma negative 3 second solution will be 2 comma negative 3 comma 2 and third solution which we can write integer solution it is minus 3 comma 2 comma 2 and this brings the end of this video i hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you do not forget to like share subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself bye bye